not worth the hype. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, you want spicy, not spicy? I love spicy. How's the coconut, man? Very yeah, good. Wow. She's cutting it up. You know, Anthony Bourdain, he I came here the twice. Anthony Bourdain came here twice? Nope. And a little bit more. This is one of the best food markets I've ever been to in the world. Since you recommended it, I'm definitely, definitely gonna try it. Pow. Singapore is one of the most expensive countries on earth. As a matter of fact, it was just ranked the fifth most expensive country in the world. But that doesn't mean we can't tackle it on a budget. What up everybody? I hope you're feeling good, feeling great. It's a hot one today. It's an absolute smoker. We have come here to the Maxwell Food Center, the mecca of cheap and delicious food right here in Singapore. We're gonna explore so many food stalls in here because I think Singapore is a city that everybody should visit no matter how much money, no matter how many dollars, no matter how many rupees, no matter how many pesos you got in your pockets. So we're gonna go in here as always, I'm gonna rank each food from one to five rocket ships, one being the worst and five being the absolute best. And you better believe we're gonna include all the prices too. We're going to a place called Somerset Delicacies. They've got all these different fried rice dishes that start at $3.50 Singapore dollars, which translates to just about $2.50. You got the mixed seafood, you got the Yang Chow fried rice, you got the fried rice with silverfish. It looks like maybe small, medium, and large. Hi, how are you? Hi, thank you. What's the best? What's special? What's the best tasting? Uh, you want spicy, not spicy? I love spicy, spicy. Number one. Number one? Okay, I'll do a number one small. Eating here? Eating here, okay. please. What's your name? Liang Fei. Thank you so much. I'm Brent. Nice meeting you. Okay, the lovely lady suggested we do the balachan fried rice. Looks like we're gonna get some shrimp, maybe a little egg, maybe a little carrot. Let's get it. Oh, and look at this. Clear your table to avoid a fine. Now, Singapore is one of the most strict countries in the world when it comes to littering. I've never heard of that. So, an incentive to not go ahead and uh, leave your junk on the table, y'all. Make sure you throw it, well, wherever the trash cans are, make sure you throw it in the trash and pick up your tray. Otherwise, I'm curious what the fine would be. I see a lot of people drinking this green drink. Hello, hi, what, what is this? Some kind of uh, fruit juice. Some kind of fruit juice. Is it good? Yeah. Okay. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Some kind of fruit juice. I think it'll be pretty easy to decipher which the green one is because there's a ton of juice stands here. Oh, and you can also get a big coconut. How's the coconut, man? Very yeah, good. Very big. That's a gigantic. That's like the biggest coconut I've ever seen. That's like the size of my head. Where are you from? A United States. Uh, I'm from Chile. Chile. Yeah. Oh, I'm going next year. Yeah. I, I, Chilean women are so beautiful. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I can't wait to go to Chile, my friend. Yeah. Here's my wife. Oh, is that your Chilean wife? Yeah. Hello. Nice to meet you. What's the best thing you ate today at the Maxwell Center besides the coconut? The chicken rice and the duck with rice. Uh, Heinz chicken. Heinz chicken. Heinz chicken. Atai. Yeah. Outside. No, here, but the place is Atai. Ah, the name. The name, Atai. 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 What were your names? Elio. Elio. Elian. I'm Brent. Isabel. Elian and Isabel. Nice to meet you. Safe travels Ciao. back to Chile. <laughs> Thank you. Ciao for now. Our lovely friend here is nice enough to let me come in and see how it's made. Oh wow, look at that. That looks so beautiful. Just taking it over here. Wow, it's it's hot back here. Oh, excuse me. I don't want to be in anybody's way. Wow, we got the rice, we got the shrimp, we got what looks to be some green chilies. I'm just putting the oil into the wok. And boom, there it is. Dropping in the shrimp to start it off. So we're going to wok and find the shrimp first. Oh, and then he dumped out that excess oil. So you only grind the oil for a little bit and always bring out some sort of like thick sauce. And there goes the rice, there goes the vegetables, there goes the chili. And he's stirring it up. Oh, and now he's pouring in some seasoning. Wow. It's a two-man wok operation out here. Oh, boom. And there it comes, the fresh scoops. Oh, and she's scooping on. Are those uh, like jalapenos? Uh, this one chili. Chili is okay. Yeah, try this one. Ooh. This one chili also have a try. Very oh, yeah. spicy. Please, please spicy. Okay, thank you. There we go. Okay. And you thank are so you. sweet and so nice. Thank you so thank much. You. Yes, cannot wait to chow down on this. But before we eat, we gotta get a little juice to wash it all down. So we've come to a place called Guru Beverage. 
and the juices start at like one dollar and sixty cents Singaporean dollars. Let's try. Oh man, everything looks so good. Long gone. I've never even heard of some of these. What's that? Oh, the sugar cane. I love sugar cane. Very, very nice. I've had sugar cane all over the world, but I've never had rose bandong. Let's try that one. The soursop is good too. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Maybe we'll have to get multiple juices. What's your name? Hi. Brent, nice to meet you, nice my brother. You. Where are you from? Huh? Where are you from? Here. Oh, Singapore. Yeah. Amazing. And so I've heard this is where some of the best and the cheapest food is in the city, eh? Yep. All oh, right. Awesome. Okay, and it looks like he's pulling out some sort of like rose bandong nice. syrup. And we've got a big cup filled with ice there. Oh, wow, and he's shaking it up. Okay, okay that looks awesome. Thank you so much, brother. Yum. I think uh -huh. the green, <laughs> I think the green straw will look best with this one. Now for the most satisfying part. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. This was an insanely cheap $1.12, y'all. Can you believe it? So I walked like 50 minutes here and I'm just drenched in sweat. I'm so, so thirsty. So let's start it off with the mega, mega cheap rose bandong juice. Pow. That is insane. It's milky, it's creamy, it's so, so sweet, it's super sweet. And the rose flavor, insane. It's like so fragrant, it's so aromatic. It's like it's like they've taken an entire rose garden, grinded it up and put it in this drink. I don't know if it's real rose or rose concentrate, but it's insane. This is so, so good. It's like very perfumey. Like, you are not prepared for this flavor. I've never had anything that tastes like this in the United States. This is a certified banger, especially for the price. I don't know if they've added milk or extra sugar. Or it almost tastes like that rose syrup mixed with condensed milk or something. This is so, so good. Yo, this is 4.8 rocket chip. This is about as good as juice gets, and I would definitely, definitely get it again, y'all. Wow. All right, we've coated our stomach with some badang, and now it's time for the balachan. This looks just, just heavenly. Really digging the cutlery they've given us two here. Very, very nice cutlery. You know we're gonna take some of these chilies, pour that chili juice right here on the side, put those in, let everything mingle in there. Let's go straight in for a big scoop of this fried rice. That's, that's about as big as spoonful as you can get, y'all. Pow! Whoops, we dropped half it on the plate. Oh man, that's good. There's this really good like smoky flavor to it. It's very flavorful. It's a little bit spicy. The rice, it's very tender, very fluffy, cooked to perfection. The, the aroma from the oil just permeates every piece of the rice. And they've, there's like little, little charred bits of like egg in here. I think they let the egg cook for just a little bit longer. And I think that's where the smokiness is coming from. This is insanely good. Now I'm gonna get a bite in with this baby shrimp, with one of those chilies, and then with some of this chili pepper sauce. Pow. Mm. The shrimp, very, very fresh. Wow. This is like, I'm geeking out over this fried rice. This might be one of the best fried rices I've ever had in my life. Absolutely incredible. There's a nice little like pickled tanginess coming from those, oh, coming from those uh, chilies or those peppers that they put in here. But I'm just in love with the overall like smoky essence of this rice, y'all. The chili sauce definitely packs a punch. There's not really any sweet element to the dish. This is very, very savory, very hearty, and very, Filling. One of the best fried rice dishes I've ever had in my life. And what really made it stand out was it wasn't too oily either. You saw like how little oil they used and how they kind of like dump the excess oil out. This, I'm calling it, five rocket ships. If you watch my videos, you know how rare that is. But this is the perfect fried rice. There is nothing I would change about it. It tastes so good. It makes you want to come back again and again and again to try all the other dishes that they have here. Wow. The other hawker stalls, they got big shoes to fill after these two. Just killer. What do we have here? Maxwell Fusu Oyster Cake. Maxwell Fusu Oyster Cake. $2.50 Singaporean dollars. Okay, this, and look, all these famous, hello, how are you? 
Can I get one Maxwell Fuzu oyster cake, please? Okay. Yeah, okay, thank you. Well, look, it's Singapore's best food. Enjoy, Top Ready Foods 2017. Not sure what happened the other six years after that. Oh, and, and there they are. Oh, those look beautiful. Oh, yeah, that looks gorgeous. Okay, there we are. Okay. What's your name? Jolie. Jolie, I'm Brent. Nice to meet you, Jolie. Nice to meet you. Where are you from? United States of America. Oh. <laughs> ah, you know Anthony Bourdain, he came here the twice. Anthony Bourdain came here twice? Okay, he's one of my heroes. No? Walking in his footsteps. This oyster cake was $1.83. It looks like it's got, are those peanuts? I think it's got peanuts in here. Yeah, that's a peanut. What the heck? Peanut and an oyster cake? Okay, I'm going crazy. I don't know if I've ever had an oyster cake before. Let's crack it open and see what we're working with here. Ooh, it looks like maybe there's some like green vegetable in there. Maybe some leeks. What else? Oh, it's, it smells oystery. It smells really, really seafoody. And uh, the outside here, just this real crisp brown golden batter on it. And is that, I think there's a shrimp in here too. So I think that's the little oyster piece. And I think that is the shrimp piece. Let's go in straight for that oyster. How? Mmm, mm. definitely fried. Very, very oily. Mmm, mm, that's so savory. The uh, oyster, very tender, very soft. Great oyster flavor. I'm wondering what the heck else is in here. I don't think it's potato, but it's, there's something that's been like ground up, or maybe that's more ground up oyster. The definition of savory. It's very greasy. It's certainly not a health food. The vegetable, whatever that is, kind of helps to balance out the sweetness and the saltiness. I'm really liking the texture balance here inside the shrimp, the oyster. It's very mushy, but then you've got the crunchiness, the crispiness of this batter on the outside, which it, it's a good ratio. It's like the perfect amount of filling to the perfect amount of batter on the outside. I dig it, although I'm not sure it's something that I would get every time I came to the market. If you like oyster, you should probably check it out. I just wish that it was a little less oily. I'm gonna give the oyster cake 3.5 rocket ships. The price was right, the flavor was right. We're on a seafood kick here in the market, so it's time to switch it up, I think, for something a little more meat-based. In 2017, I spent three weeks exploring Vietnam and fell in love with the country, the beauty, the culture, the food, and of course, the people. And so something that I crave almost constantly is a traditional banh mi sandwich, a Vietnamese baguette. I'm gonna go ahead and get the traditional freshly baked Vietnamese baguette, pickled salad, cucumber, coriander, chili, three types of Vietnamese ham and chicken floss, uh, Vietnamese mayonnaise, and homemade Vietnamese chicken pate. What do we've got? All the fresh ingredients here. We've got the spring rolls. Hello! We've got the cucumber, we've got the carrot, we got what I believe is cilantro. Uh, 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 might be the pork. That's definitely the pate. Uh, uh, I'm not sure. Oh, chicken floss? I'm not sure what the other ones are. Hello! Hi! Hi, how are you? Good. Is this the best banh mi in Taiwan? Okay, one banh mi, traditional. Oh yes, I need this. Oh, it's on my face. Oh, she she saw how hot I was. Yes, I definitely need this. You're so sweet. What's your name? My name Ting. Beautiful name. I would I would like one traditional, please. One traditional banh mi. You want chili? Chili, yes, spicy, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After that oyster cake, we need we need to get a little spice back in the system. So six Singapore dollars translates into just about four dollars and fifty cents USD. You're not gonna find a banh mi in the United States for that price. Not not a chance. Maybe in some little tiny stall in New York or something, hidden in a back alley. Hey, how are you? I love your frames. Uh, thank you. Very very cute. I don't have lens though. Oh oh wow, <laughs> they're just for style. It's yeah, a great style. Thank What's you. your name? Cherry. Cherry. Yes. Brent. Lovely to meet you. Nice to meet you. Where are you from? Thailand. Thailand. Oh, I love Thai food. I love the people of Thailand. The food is so good. Such a beautiful place. Yeah, I know. I love ha it. Have you, are you on vacation here? I'm studying here. Oh, congrats. Do you Thank like the you. education system? Yeah, I love it. What are but you studying? The rent, though. It's a very expensive country. <laughs> like the fifth most expensive yeah, country know, in the world. I know. That's too but, much. Yeah. What's the best thing to eat in this market? Oh, I don't know. I have not, I, this is actually like the first time I've been here since oh. I've lived here. So, okay. Yeah, we're getting the tian tian 
thing, the uh -huh. chicken rice thing. Someone just recommended that to me, so I'm gonna try it in a little yeah. bit. I'm doing a little food tour today. Are you a YouTuber? I am, yeah. Uh, what's your channel? Uh, it's my name, it's Brent Tim. Oh, I love your nails too, and you got oh, the cool you. rings. Thank you, Chrome yeah, Heart. Yeah, a lot of style. <laughs> Chrome Heart, oh, yeah. beautiful. Okay, oh. subscribe. Oh, thanks so much for your subscription. I really appreciate yeah. that. You're awesome. Maybe I'll stop over and say hi and see what you think about the, sure, the Tian sure. Tian rice. Our table is like around here. Okay, I'll look for the girl with the cool glasses. <laughs> Thank you. Sherry, it was so nice meeting you. You too. Yeah, ciao yeah. for now, see, see you ya. again. Uh, major travel tip and disclaimer, uh, while researching Singapore, I was told that every single place accepts credit card. That is not the case. Most of these places only accept cash or like this scan to pay thing that I think you have to have like a Singaporean uh, bank account for, like something like this. Hi, do you take credit card? No. See? Oh, thank you. So most of the stalls do not take credit card. And a lot of restaurants and places, even if they do take credit card, they're gonna charge you a fee. So cash is king here in Singapore, just so y'all know. And I have run out of cash and I have to go to an ATM after this. Oh, thank you so much. You're so sweet. Thank you. Uh, uh, what? Oh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna eat here. Yeah. Yes. Uh, no, you pay now money. Oh, say what? You pay now money. Oh, money. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I was like, wait. Sorry, I thought I already paid. Yeah. I got distracted by that beautiful Thai woman. This lady. Oh, wow. It's more tissue. Thank you. You're a lifesaver. Dang, give me the whole pack. Thank you so much. Major shout out, Bagat Hong Viet. Uh, for keeping my skin dry and they do take credit card here okay so maybe i retract that statement but you're still much better off bringing cash if you come here all right bon me time now if you if this is your first time seeing one of my food videos i'm always honest not just in my food reviews but obviously in every single video i make there's a lot of food vloggers out there that every single food they try oh it's so great oh it's the greatest thing ever that's seriously not the case. If, if you try a bunch of weird foods, something is not gonna be good. So all these reviews, honest, from the bottom of my heart. Let's crack it open here and see what we're working with. Ooh, it looks so fresh. We've got that big slice of pate in there. And we've got the coriander, the cilantro, uh, there's carrot slices. And then I'm not sure what those white slices are. That might be like radish or celery. This looks pretty good though. It looks like a, a, a nice, Feels like a crusty, crunchy piece of baguette. Bon me time. Pow. Mmm. Whoa, and the bread is perfect. The bread is so crunchy. It's so crispy. Oh my gosh. It's like, it just deteriorates in your mouth. It's not too hard. It's not too soft. That is an all-star piece of bread. That is just an outrageously delicious baguette y'all the bread also has like this amazing like oveny hearth baked taste to it that is unreal let's now go in for a bite where we're gonna get some more of those fillings inside pow sweet fresh a little bit of spice a little bit of like acidity in there oh man this is so so good the coriander gives it this overall like fresh Vibrant, vibrant, fresh flavor to it all. The pate is very nice. Savory, very subtle, muted flavor. And oh, now we're getting spicy. Wow, whatever we've been into there, that's that's the real spice. But there's also that little bit of sweetness in there too. The pate and the ham, super, super tender. Um, but the saltiness, it's definitely coming from that chicken floss that adds just like the tiniest little bit of crunch to the overall ingredients. Uh, in the center here. This is outstanding. This is this is truly, this belongs in Vietnam, y'all. Blown away, psh, blown out of my seat by how delicious the food has been so far at the Maxwell Hawker Mount Market. Honestly, I can't believe it. This is a total heater. It is absolutely banging off the ceiling. Uh, smoky, sweet. There's also like this like sweet barbecue sauce in there that really brings it to life. Four, 0.9 rocket chips. I could eat this every single day. The only thing that would have made it just a little, little bit better, 0.1 better, is if it just had a little more pate, a little more ham, and a little more chicken floss in it. But other than that, it's killer. It's a must buy. It's a must eat, y'all. Fire burning on my lips. The spiciness of that bon me really snuck up on me. We gotta quench the thirst. We gotta cool down with someone from this place. 
the avoco bro let's avo good time get it instead of let's have a good time let's avo a good time do you get it do you get it do you get it now would be a good time to hit that like and subscribe button if you found yourself in stitches uh, from my jokes okay what are we gonna get avocado coconut avocado guala malaka huh? Uh, avocado milkshake, avocado chocolate, avocado banana, avocado sour plum, green apple sour plum, ABC fruit juice, apple in your cult. Oh, oh, I'm allergic to apple, but I love your cult. Red dragon fruit, balong long and sour plum, balong long, and kiwi mango, star fruit, and sour plum. Okay, let's go ahead. I'm very intrigued by this one. What is gula malaka? Avocado with the avocado with the. Sugar. sugar palm sh is it palm sugar ah uh, okay one avocado gula malaka please let's get close up and see what can i come around and see can i see uh, you want to see yeah yeah oh, okay. <laughs> that's okay yeah yeah oh yeah. we've got all the fresh avocados yeah. back here yes. there's the banana oh and avocado with the ice and i'm curious where that palm sugar is. oh she's coating it with the palm sugar there we go Oh, this is going to be delightful. Stir it up. And then she's pouring it into the palm sugar coated cup. Oh, that looks beautiful. That looks so cool and refreshing. Oh, and a little bit more palm sugar on top. A little bit more of the Gula Malaka. Wow. And again, we get to pick our colorful straw. Really dig in. I'll go with the, the purple this time. Boom. Okay, and it's got a nice little avocado sticker. Thank you again, you're so sweet. Thank you for the show. And let's see, so again, this was $3, $3.50 Singapore dollars. Which is $2.50 USD. Again, in the United States, an avocado drink? You can't even like buy one avocado for $2.50. This is gonna be like six, seven dollars, maybe like eight or nine if we're talking New York City prices. And this looks so, so good, y'all. Pow. Oh my God, this is so good. It's, obviously the palm sugar is very, very sweet, but the avocado has just that incredible neutral flavor to it that it really, really balances it out. It's like an incredible wave of cooling freshness mixed with the sweetness of the palm sugar, of the gula malaka. This is, this is incredible. Is this real? Is this real life? Is the food in this market? I feel like I'm dreaming. I, I can't overstate how amazing the food is here. This is one of the best food markets I've ever been to in the world. And if you watch my other vlogs, you know I've been to some really great places. Fortunate, very lucky to be have visited some amazing, delicious food markets all over the world. But the food I'm finding here is just on another level. This is a perfect drink. This is five rocket ships too. Nothing. This is one of the best like milkshake type drinks I've ever had. Certainly the, the best milkshake drink I've had in at least the past two years of travel. I wouldn't change anything about it. And uh, if, the, if the palm sugar, you know, wouldn't expedite uh, my, my eventual onset diabetes, I could drink one of these every single day. Wow. Kudos to you, avocado. Bro. Okay. So I, I, I saw this uh, beautiful lady uh, eating some delicious food here, and yeah. I saw she had the vlogging camera yeah. on. I was like, oh, yeah. I'm Are you a Hong vlogger? Kong. Oh, yeah, I love I'm Hong Kong. Kong. Yeah. I love the egg tarts in Hong oh, Kong. Thank you. So so good. Thank you. And so this is her page. And how do you say your name? How do you say your name? Um, in Cantonese. Good, is good. Gut, gut. Gut, gut. Yes. Okay, and this is her, and this is hilarious because we have the same amount. Of subscribers well you definitely earned my oh, subscription really? what language are your vlogs in uh, Cantonese Cantonese yeah, nice okay so nice to meet you Yay. yeah what was the best thing you ate today um, I think it's the oyster fried oyster cake the fried oyster cake yeah. I just had that that is really good it was very nice yeah. and I think this one is worth trying too because it's a very local Local food. Okay. I have never tried before, and you can you know, you try it. Which one? Which one is this one? The roja. Roja. Yeah. Oh, pa it's papaya like, and uh, cockle. 
like a sweet and spicy salad. Ooh. Yeah. I think maybe you think you will think a little bit weird, but I I, I eat food all over the world. I, I find nothing weird. <laughs> that looks good. Yeah. Okay, since you recommended it, I'm definitely definitely gonna okay, try it. Okay. So nice meeting you. Good nice, good. Nice meeting you too. Your We've stumbled upon Sher Sherry again. <laughs> Sherry, right? Yeah. <laughs> I, I love how you put the chopsticks <laughs> in the camera. You're so cool. Thank okay, you. you just had the Hyannis chicken. What did you think? It's not worth the high. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's that mid. Yeah. I appreciate your honesty. I'm not gonna get it in that case because I'm not the biggest Hyannis chicken lover. How is the how's the duck and the fried noodles though? It's good. Good? Yeah. Recommended? Yeah. Okay. And what are the names of your friends? I'm poor. Hey. I'm late. Lovely to meet all of you. Yeah. Oh, okay. So thank you so much uh, for letting us know that the Hyannis chicken, absolute mid. <laughs> so nice meeting all of you. Yeah, yeah. ciao, ciao. When you meet a food vlogger, especially from a part of Asia, and she recommends an Asian food to you, you gotta go. It's not even a question. So we're gonna go ahead and try the Rojak. I had to look it up. It's like a Singaporean, Indonesian, Malaysian, possibly Chinese, Thailand, and all throughout Asia as well. Uh, it's a salad. So it's actually fruit and vegetables, and it's covered in this palm sugar. I had to ask our man here. So in the Rojak, it's cucumber, it's uh, turnip, turnip, thank you. My, my brain's breaking down from all the food and all the amazing people we met. Cucumber, turnip, and what was the other fruit? Pineapple. Pineapple in, in, the, in the Rojak, okay. What's your name? E.T. Nice to meet you. I love your shirt. <laughs> we love the you. Smurfs. Thank you. Thank you so much. Are you from Singapore? Yes. Is Rojak good? Yes. It's very good. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So I'm going to get the Rojak, which is four Singapore dollars. And then I'm going to get the Chinatown Popia, because it just looks good, for $3.40 in Singapore dollars. When we can see her making it up here, it looks like some crushed peanuts. It kind of looks like a spring roll. I think that's like a rice, rice paper. Ooh, there's some cilantro in there, and gosh knows what else. She's cutting it up, almost like sushi, or almost like um, um, kimbap that we've had in Korea. Oh, ooh, this is gonna be good, this is gonna be good. Boom, papia coming in hot, and boom. And there's the rojak. So the popia is about $2.50, and the rojak uh, is just about $3.12. Let's go in for an up-close look of the rojak. Okay, looks like it's covered in so many crushed peanuts. And then the popia, or maybe it's popaya. I, it's gotta be popia, right? Man, that looks good. It's just like a spin on a spring roll, I believe. I, I got it with chili, I asked for it spicy. Oh. Yes, I love spicy. The chili's nice. What's your name? Ty. Ty. Nice to meet you, Ty, thank you. She told me I made a good choice. I was like, okay. God bless all the nice people we're meeting today. Getting greeted with a lot of smiles and a lot of love here at the Maxwell Center, y'all. Okay, my first bite of popia. Looks like we had some like bean sprouts in there. Maybe some like vermicelli noodles? Some lettuce, perhaps? Pow. Yum. It's just like a spring roll. I don't know if this is rice paper. This rice paper is a little more like translucent and clear. It's good. They definitely gave me a white person serving of spice because it's not very spicy but it's good there's like a peanut sauce that was used in here as well digging the crunch that you get from like all the different vegetables in here the sprouts the lettuce it's a nice texture combination and this whatever we got rice wrapper rice paper mm, very very soft it's almost like a tortilla in terms of texture loving the sweetness loving the freshness loving the crunch it's pretty much just exactly like a spring roll i'll definitely get these again this might be one of the healthiest things that we've consumed today i'm gonna give these four rocket chips on the dot they're great rojack time isn't that a tv show rojack horseman or something wow gigantic chunks of vegetables and fruit in here um no idea where to even begin. Let's start it off with a bite of this. Pow. What the heck? What is that? Sweet, sour, peanutty. 
the peanut flavor is very, or sorry, the sour flavor is very surprising. Where's that coming from? Is that the pineapple? It's almost like it could be fried pineapple. Y'all are gonna have to help me in the comments below. I looked up the recipe online, but I don't know what this is. Cucumber? This is crazy. I've never had a salad like this. Oh no, this is the pineapple. Maybe that was the turnip that we had? Mmm. Salty, sweet. I'm not picking up on any real spice at all. It's so good. I've never had anything like this at all. Sweet, creamy, savory, a little salty, a little fruity, and the sourness is probably my favorite element of it all. What the heck is this bit though? Because we got the turnip here, we got the pineapple here, and we got the cucumber. Why can't I figure out what this is? It's my favorite part of the dish. It adds just this like funkiness to it. It's, it's fried something. We gotta go ask them what it is, one second. They told me it's like a noodle. It's called pho. It's, it definitely like tastes like a fried noodle piece. What? Crispy, crunchy, very good. Never had a salad like this in my life. It is very, very Asian inspired, Asian flavor, y'all. It's good. And maybe I forgot to mention, but the fact that it's doused in palm sugar, it's just so, so sweet. Yeah, would definitely get this again. Uh, it's, it's very unique though. It's almost like a dessert salad, I guess would be the best way uh, to describe it. 3.7 rocket chips for the Rojack. And that's that, y'all. I am so overjoyed. My heart is full from all the amazing uh, tourists, uh, locals, uh, and vendors that we met. My stomach is definitely full from all the delicious foods that we had. I've been very, very fortunate to have been able to go to some of the best food markets all over the world. Uh, Barcelona, uh, Portugal, Korea. But I think the food in this Maxwell Center, in this Hawker's Market, was indeed the best food that I've ever had in any market anywhere in the world. A true triumph. I would, I, everything was outstanding. I really, really hope you enjoyed this video and hopefully now you know that if you don't have a lot of money, if you're a broke backpacker like me, you can still come to Singapore and eat delicious food and not break the bank, not completely set your wallet on fire. If you enjoyed this video, if you found it valuable, please consider hitting that like and that subscribe button so you can keep supporting me and ensuring that I can make these videos entertaining and educating people all over the world. My name's Brent Tim from the Maxwell Center right here in Singapore, and I'm saying ciao for now.